Hello friend and welcome to my channel. Today I got Banggood Nail Tip Stand Demo and the Ajubas 06 plate to swatch. So that's the container that this little nail thing came in and they call them removable nail training stand. And it comes with the little pop-on pegged little nails. And I think that's pretty cool. And they're spaced out to where you'll be able to stamp without, you know, stamping on all the other ones. And I love the little puzzle piece design that you can turn them into a circle or use them individually. Here is the Ajubas EJB06. And I'll be using that Ajuba Stamper and the Clear Jelly Scrapper. I'll be using a whole bunch of old Bundle Monster stamping polishes. That one was uh, number 8 and number 12 and number 15. This blue is 20. The pink is 21, and this last one looks black, but it's purple, and it's number 10. They were my very first set of stamping polishes, and I remember at the time, I was thinking, eh, they're not that great, but when y'all see them today, you might agree with me that they do look pretty good. I really do like them. I'm so glad that I decided to pull them out and play with them. There we go. Beautiful image. I am going to hold it up so you can see it. Look how crisp. Beautiful. I know it was pretty quick, but we're going to have a lot of this because uh, this is a pretty good sized plate with a lot of images, and I'm going to do every one of them for you. So there we go. Kind of like that spiral design. And I am having a little trouble because I'm used to clear jelly stampers or clear stampers. We're all calling them clear jelly, but all the clear stampers. This blue looks so pretty over that white. Oh, by the way, those nails were painted with the Pacifica white that I got my, from my friend Jennifer. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this in another video or not, and if I'm repeating myself, I apologize, but I feel like it's worthy information. My friend Frances, Dolphin Chick Nails, she gave me some tips on using these plates. She said that since they're so deeply etched that if you're proficient at stamping, which means you know, you've been doing it for quite a while and you're pretty good at it, and you can even use plates that aren't very well etched, that you might want to slow down and take a little more time and let that, after you scrape, let that polish dry just a few seconds before you pick up. She said that they're so deep that they kind of pull the polish and um, so if you try to pick up too soon you could get some smearing or distorted designs and with that being said, it's also great for new beginners that are taking a little more time, you know, to, to stamp. So these would be really good for somebody that's just learning and going slower. Now, as you can see, I am cleaning these nail tips off with some non-acetone remover. Do not use acetone on these. I will tell you, I learned the hard way. I did half of this plate and had to stop, and then when I came back to finish them, I had forgotten that I was using non-acetone and I used acetone and they were all sticky so I'm gonna have to invest in some new little tips now because of that mistake. Ew. There we go we're gonna scrape out some more and do some more stamping. And I will be switching to a clear stamper here in just a little bit. I don't know exactly when, but it's not because the Ajubis one's not working. It's just that, um, like I said, I had to quit filming, and when I came back to it days later, um, <laughs> I had uh, forgotten that I was using the Ajubis stamper. So I don't want y'all to be confused and think, oh, well, she didn't like it. I do like it. It's a very good stamper. It's soft. It picks up really well. The only thing is, is it's not clear. And I'm spoiled, I guess. I'm, I love them clear stampers. There we go. Let's 
say this hot pink's just woo it's gorgeous I love love these I'm so so glad that I pulled these out I just wanted a variety of colors you know some bright pretty colors to swatch this plate out with and I just grabbed that set and oh did you see that it popped up on me but I, I got lucky and it popped right back down in this into the spot but yeah it um it was a good thing that I had to pull these out or I did I didn't have to pull them out but it's a good thing I pulled them out because now I'm seeing how good they really are you might be seeing them again here on my channel it's been a while there we go look how beautiful these images are some of these would work really great for like lead lighting or reverse stamping I just think that they would be really fun to play with like that now I really like this image I don't know what about it it's, to me it's got this and, and it might not make any sense but it's kind of got a Celtic vibe to it maybe it's just because I did it in dark green I don't know here we go with an, another orange swatch and I am there we go see I told you I was gonna change stampers and I wouldn't know about it I wouldn't remember it <laughs> it's what happens when you get distracted so there we go another beautiful one now at this point I had learned about the you know letting it sit for just a second and I don't really like count it off or anything but I'm not like rolling as fast as I normally do through them I am you know kind of taking my time a little bit more especially with lining the images up and by the way I had sped up this video like all of it because um, if I went real time this would have been a really long video I'm not sped up like crazy I'm not like two times faster but I think it's at least like 1.25 percent faster or maybe even one and a half um, I do that with most of my videos so that you're seeing you know everything I can show more steps there we go we're getting down to the last two full images and I will be doing those uh, little side images over there because I really like those. That's part of what um, drew me to these plates was that you had some full images and some, you know, some you could use for accents or mix and match. Very cool. Alrighty, last one of the full ones. Love how that paint smear over all the other images from scraping down. It's just kind of made gradients on the plate. So there we go. We'll go off film and um, I'll we'll cover those with black polish. And I'll be using the Queen White to stamp these images out over those black. That black is the Queen stamping polish. And since I'd messed up those nail tips, by using non acetone or using acetone on them instead of trying to get that last round off I just put a big thick coat of black over the top of them and we're just reusing them to get through this so there you have it so that is that black queen I think it's called blackjack but I wanted something thick one coater throw it over that and keep on swatching this plate out I really like these images I think they look really cool going like you can do them down the center you can do them on a diagonal you can do French tip looks with it I really like them and this one this one that I'm doing right now is maybe my favorite just the circles I can see putting little stones or gems or something in those circles and just ugh rocking out a manicure with that and I am gonna try to get through all of the Ajubis plates that I bought as far as stamping them out for you um, seem to be 
quite a bit of interest in them. It, you know, since they're fairly new, I, I don't mind doing that. New to my collection, they're not new. Some of these have been out for a while, but. And this one's another cool image. It's, um, it, it was another favorite of mine. You guys know I like that swirly stuff, and that's got some of that, like, little flicky, flicky stuff going on on it. But I really, really did like this little nail holder display. I thought it worked really well for doing something like this. Um, I will leave a link for this item and a link for Banggood down below. Like I said, they sent this for review, and I am really impressed. I think it's a really neat addition to my collection of stuff. So here's my little swatch photo thing. And thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.